Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and I am Dollaraholic Mama and I actually have a Dollarama haul for you guys but before I get into that I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to all my friends and family here on my YouTube channel who helped me reach my 500 subscriber goal. I think as of today we are up to 513 which is just incredible. I was blown away um, when I actually passed the 500 goal and I just hope that we keep growing and growing. As I previously mentioned, we are going to be having a 500 subscriber giveaway, but before I do that, I wanted to get some feedback from you guys. I wanted to know what the prize um, would be best, like what prize would be best and what you guys would be most interested in um, trying to win. So I thought we could either do a box of goodies from Strictly the Dollar Tree, a box of goodies from Strictly Dollarama, or a box of goodies mixed up from the two stores, or we can do what I did for my 100 subscriber giveaway, which was either a gift card to Dollarama or a gift card to the Dollar Tree. So let me know down in the comments what you guys would prefer the 500 subscriber giveaway prize being, and I will go from there. So definitely do let me know down in the comments because your guys' opinion is what matters. This giveaway is for you, so I want it to be something that you guys are actually interested in. All right, so I'm just going to get started with my haul. So the first thing that I picked up are these little cookies. So they are by Lorreri Master Bakers, and it's actually a product of Italy that's being imported uh, for Dollarama out of Montreal, Quebec. These are coconut, and they almost remind me of like biscotti. That's kind of the vibe that I get when I look at the picture anyways. I'm not sure the size of the actual cookie in there, but that's what it kind of looks like to me. Uh, these are good all the way until January 30th of 2021, and it was only $1.25 for 200 grams, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I thought that these would be nice to accompany like a cup of tea or coffee in the mornings. Then I also got the same type of cookies, but in the lemon flavor. So again, I just thought that would be really nice to accompany a hot beverage, and again, these are good all the way until January of next year. Then I did pick up a box of Biscuit Breakfast Cookies. So there's wheat, oat, barley, rye, and spelt. Five grains and milk in the cookies. You get eight packages of four individually wrapped cookies. And it's actually a product of Spain. So again, imported just for Dollarama out of Montreal. And the nutrition on these look really, really good. It was $2 for 400 grams, which again, I think is a fantastic deal for anything like this. If this was in the grocery store, you would pay a lot more than $2. And the last food item I picked up are these pea pops. So I've actually never tried anything like this before, but they sounded really interesting and really healthy. And the fact that they are grown and made in Canada is just fantastic. So this one here is... Uh, dill pickle pow. They're roasted, never fried green peas, non GMO, nut and peanut free, gluten free, uh, seven grams of protein per serving, high source of fiber, low in fat, and they're vegan. So that's really, really awesome that it's all of those things in one. And these are good all the way until April of next year. So lots of time to enjoy them. And then I also got them in the Sriracha Slap, which I presume is probably going to be a little warm, but my eldest son does like spicy and hot things, so I'll probably try these with him and see if he enjoys them. Uh, these were just $1.25 a piece as well, so again, a really good deal for these. Then I did get a couple beauty items, I guess. Um... The first thing that I picked up I was really excited to come across is this Hydra Sense a Specialty Nasal Care for Allergies. So I don't know if you can hear it in my nose right now, but I am prone to allergies, especially with fr uh, fresh cut grass, which I just did yesterday. And I woke up this morning all congested because of it. There's also a lot of work being done in my townhouse complex right now, and they are cutting um, like stone and there's a lot of dust from that. So this is going to come in handy. It's just like your little nasal mist. Uh, this is the 100 milliliter spray. So this is the typical bottle that you would find at like shoppers or um, one of the like big box grocery stores. 
but it was only four dollars. I actually went to Shoppers Drug Mart shortly after my trip to Dollarama and this was I believe $9.99 or maybe even more. I want to say $9.99 though. So to get it for four is such an amazing deal and this is also good until uh, December of this year but that's going to take me well through the heart of allergy season which is fantastic. Then I also picked up this a bottle of shower gel so this is like your standard body wash but it's a three in one for men so even though it's a shower gel on it it can be used as a shampoo a conditioner and a body wash um, I don't know how good this would be for an older you know mature man but for my kiddos this is perfect because then I don't have to worry about there being like three different bottles in the shower for them my uh, two boys shower on their own and I thought this would work well for them. They came in different designs as far as the characters on the front. This one had a Spider-Man on it. As far as the brand, they are actually um, Marvel uh, by Airval International out of Spain, apparently. But if you open it up and give it a sniff, it actually smells like um, Old Spice. So I'm not sure if they partnered and just put it in different packaging because the bottle is also very similar. It's just, of course, different color and design but the shape of the bottle in that looks very similar to Old Spice. So I'm not sure what um, that's about or anything like that, but that is what this one smells like. I didn't open them in store because they all had a seal on them. So I'm not sure if each of the characters was a different scent or not, but I liked the smell of this one when I got it home. It was $3, but you do get 400 milliliters. So again, I think that's a pretty good deal. Then I found this cute little cosmetic bag. So this is by the brand that I've been picking up things uh, from throughout my last couple of videos and it's by Yes Studio. So they're the ones that put out like the little passport folder, the fun little storage containers. Uh, they've also done like a travel wallet, all sorts of fun things and they're priced really, really well. So this one says winging it, which I thought was kind of cute, especially when it comes to, you know, like parenthood and being successful in life, you know, just sometimes you're just winging it. You're not sure what you're doing on um, any given day, but you're just kind of winging it. I thought it was cute. I know it means more so like winging it, like traveling on an airplane, but I don't do a lot of travel. I don't think anyone's traveling right now. So I love the purple on it as well. And then it almost has like a rose gold little zipper pull. I just thought it was really, really cute. Like I said, I don't use these just for cosmetics. I give them to my girls who put their little like figurines in them. Um, they put their hair elastics and stuff like that. I find we can never have too many of these little zipper pouches and for $1.25, I mean, why not? This one's actually really good quality as far as the canvas goes. It's a lot thicker than the ones you typically find at like the Dollar Tree, um, but it is unlined in the middle. So you wouldn't want to put anything liquid in there. And then I also found this a silicone heat resistant mat, perfect for curling and flat irons, store your styling tools safely. So it's just a little mat that you can also wrap around um, your tool. So if it's not cool and you need to throw it in your bag, um, you can do that. Um, it's also great to put on the counter if you don't want to damage your counter at all. It was $4, but I thought that was a good price because if you were to find something like this elsewhere, it would definitely would not be at that $4 price point. And then I guess the last beauty item I picked up is this Infinity Pro by Con Air Ultimate Root Booster. So this is an official Con Air hairbrush. Um, I know I have hauled the wet dry um, brushes before and that is my favorite brush. It's my go-to brush for sure, especially if my hair is um, any like knots or slightly damp, that is perfect for it. It doesn't pull in, it doesn't hurt. But I wanted to try this one because I actually have the uh, hair dryer that goes along with this brush and I don't have a lot of volume in my hair. It's gotten awfully long over the last little bit, um, but it's very flat. There's not a lot of body or anything to it. So I thought that this would be nice to give to give a try and see if it helps add a little bit more volume to my hair. So it was $4, but again, if you were to find this at Walmart, it would definitely be a lot more than that. And then I guess these are technically beauty items. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you would classify these as. We'll go with beauty and maybe even health at this point. So I did pick up some of the multi-purpose bandanas. Uh, they were $1.50 a piece and they are by Sport Gear, which I think is just a Dollarama brand. They're 100% polyester, but they are like slightly stretchy. 
It shows in the picture that you can use them like a wide variety of ways. You can use them on your head, you can use them on your wrist, you can use it as like a hairband, um, you could use it as like a kerchief around your neck, or you can also use it as a face mask. So I am a very, very claustrophobic. I cannot have anything in like near or around my face. I can't wear turtlenecks or even like, um, like the collars that go up to here. I just can't do it. it it makes me panic. Um, so trying to put a mask on my face is not something that I'm capable of doing. However, there are some businesses um, that will f are like making um, a mask or some type of face covering mandatory where I am. Um, I don't encounter them that often, but I thought it would still be good to have in the car just in case it's a place that I want to go to um, and that you need some type of face covering for. I could just put this on very quick in and out. Um, and then not have to worry about it. Um, I know we went for a drive the other day and we stopped at like a roadside um, little market type store and they were actually enforcing you needing to wear a mask. So we weren't able to go in because we didn't have anything on hand. So I thought that I would keep these in the car just in case we encountered a place like that. Otherwise, honestly, I actually don't wear them just because I'm not capable of doing it. All right, then I think from there we will segue into some clothing. So for the clothing, of course, it is more socks. I cannot recommend enough Dollarama for their socks. They are always so fun and they are always such great quality. They get name brands in and it seems like every time I go in there, they've got a different type of sock. So I'm going to start with one that I've shown before, which are the comfy toes. So these are the Funky Crew socks, and these I got for a friend of mine because he is an angler, absolutely loves fishing, and I just thought these were really, really cute. Uh, they were $2, and they work for shoe size a 7 to 13. So I just picked these up just as a little novelty gift for him. And then I grabbed this package of um, basketball socks. So these are actually by Spalding and they're arch and ankle compression support, full cushion with blister guard. And you get one pair of crew socks in here and they are either for a men's four to nine or a woman's six to 10. Um, so I'm hoping that they're going to work. I actually picked these up for my father as part of his birthday gift. Um, he does wear a, I believe a 10 in a shoe, but I thought that they would be stretchy enough for him. So we'll see. Otherwise I will use them but it's a really good sock. It does say on here that the suggested retail of these were $10. He actually does play in two different basketball leagues, just unfortunately they were cut short this year because of COVID, um, but he does often play outside, uh, just bouncing the ball around and that, so I thought that these would be nice for him to try out and see if he enjoyed them. Um, they are official licensed Spalding socks um, made out of the state, so I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, and they were $3 for the set. Um, I know it's only one pair, but when it's balding, you are gonna end up paying a little bit more. All right, then I also picked up some stationery and craft type items. So the first thing I grabbed is this Crayola Art with Edge coloring book. So this one is all like sayings, but they're made with like designs and that around them. They look really cool. So it's bold and fearless is what it says on the front. And they have just different pages on the inside with text and images. Almost gives you that like graffiti type vibe. But again, absolutely love the Crayola coloring books. I love how they're on the thicker white pages. Such good quality. Uh, in this one, it is 40 different coloring pages and it was only $3, so such a fantastic price for this. Then I also found this DC Lego, the Batman movie, and it's a grab and go. So you got 130 stickers, uh, six sticker sheets, three play scenes, and six sticker collector pages. So I thought that was really cute. You open it up, looks like that. The stickers are worth the money like on their own with how many that you get. And then it just has pages that you can color on. And then it has that like plastic type page that you can stick and unstick the stickers. So I thought that was really fun. Um, I actually picked this up for my nephew. He is turning six uh, next week. So I thought that he would enjoy this as part of his gift. It was only $1.25. So I thought that was a really good deal. 
Then I picked up these pocket size logic puzzles and these were really, really fun. So these are great for anyone who likes like Sudoku or like the math and number games because it does have quite a few of the Sudoku puzzles in there, but then it has a lot of other different um, unique puzzles as well. Um, my father absolutely loves Sudoku and any like math or number type game So I picked these up for him for again part of his birthday gift They were only a buck a piece which I think is fantastic and they're again by Pat publishing Which is a brand that puts out a lot of like the word search and crossword and that kind of book at Dollarama And I absolutely love them. So I thought he would enjoy these And then I did get a uh, couple little craft kits for my kiddos. So these are by the brand Crafts, which is like Dollarama's main craft um, company. And they're create your own pom-pom animals. And I just thought they were too stinking cute. So each kit makes three and they were only a dollar a piece. So this you get like the little sea creatures. You even get like a little Nemo fish in there, which I thought was cute. Then this one, you get your little woodland creatures with a little beaver and a fox on there. Then this one only makes turtles, but I love how it looks like a mama turtle and two little babies. I thought that was so sweet. And then this one makes a cow, a pig, and a bunny. So I guess kind of going for their farm type theme for that one. thought these were super cute. Just a little bit of fun for us to break up our day. I'm always picking up things like that when I'm out, just so that I'm able to keep my kids occupied and give them something new and fun. And then I also picked up a package of these beautiful butterflies on clips. And again, by Crafts, there are three pieces in here and I just thought they were such a gorgeous blue. I actually picked this up to give to one of my YouTube friends who I met through my channel. And I just thought they were so beautiful that I wanted to share them with you guys. They came in a quite a few different color options, but I absolutely love the blue. And again, $1.25 for three pieces, I thought was a fantastic deal. Then I did get a few household type items. I love Dollarama for picking up things that you wouldn't think that you'd be able to get there. Like you can go and you wander the aisles, um, especially with the whole um, COVID situation, they have arrows on the floor encouraging you to go up and down. So it's a nice way to walk through and just kind of take a glance and see what kind of new items they have. So I was happy to come across the ice cube trays with lids. I typically don't keep ice cubes in my freezer because of the fact that you have the container there and if you are putting it in and it knocks and then you spill it everywhere or you have the tray and then you can't put anything on top of it, at least not until it's frozen. So I absolutely love this. I know these have probably existed for years, but I have never thought to purchase them before. So these actually make 18 ice cubes in the tray. So they are like little squares, which I also thought was nice, a nice little size. And then the lid just pops off like that. So that is absolutely fantastic. Um, it doesn't say if they're dishwasher, safe or not mind you i hand wash everything anyways but just keep that in mind that it doesn't specifically say that they are dishwasher safe on there they did come in a lot of fun colors as well but i just grabbed the green and the yellow and they were only a dollar 25. then i picked up a package of mounting squares by duramax so these are the double-sided adhesive little squares and you get 32 pieces so this each of these little um, pads are actually separated into four so the squares aren't that large. They're good for mounting like picture frames and posters and stuff up on the wall. Um, I actually got these for something that I will show you in just a minute um, to put out outside on my balcony so I thought that these would work well for that and it was only $1.25 for the whole package. Then I picked up this dusting and polishing microfiber cloth by Quickie. So it's micro touch and it's proven to remove 99% of bacteria, allergens, and dust, non-scratch, and polishes wet or dry. 
So I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, I have like a lot of like shelves and that that I display uh, pictures and uh, figurines and stuff like that. And they seem to collect dust like crazy, especially where I am right now. Um, if I have the windows open, a lot of dust will come through even the screen. So this is just nice to be able to pick up all that dust and stuff off the shelves. Um, I did like how it removes the bacteria. It doesn't say too much about that. Um, I guess you'd have to research the brand a little bit more, but my thing was more so just for removing all the dust and dirt that's accumulating on there. Um, this was $3, but again, it's a name brand and I thought it was worth the price. Then I got this peanut butter and jelly spreader by Good Cook. Uh, so it's color coded ends prevent mixing in jars, serrated edge is safe for kids and all in one convenience. So I have started letting my kids help out with making their meals, especially their lunch. And especially my older son, he really likes to help out and I'm giving him a lot more responsibility now. So I thought this would come in handy for them for making their lunches, at least while we're home since we can't send peanut butter to school. Um, but it's nice that it comes with the brown edge for the peanut butter, purple edge for the jam. And then it does have a little, if I can move the cardboard here for you guys, a little serrated edge there so they can cut it into um, triangles or quarters or whatever they would like to do. But this was only $2, which I thought was such a fantastic deal and just such a neat tool to have on hand. And then I also picked up just your standard little dishwashing brush. Uh, this is, it just says Scrubber Cleans. I think it's just their Dollarama little cleaning brush company, nothing fancy, but it's only $1.25 and this is the one I always pick up. I find the bristles aren't too stiff and aren't too soft. It's a nice mix and they typically last me, I think the last time I bought it was like three months ago. So that's pretty good to me. Um, nice little handle and everything on it. And I think it came in a couple different colors like blue, gray and white. So this time I did pick up the blue. Oh, and I did technically have one more stationary item, which are these Gelosity pens by Bic. You get three in here. You get a black, a red, and a green, and they are the quick dry. It was $4, but I wanted to give these to my father as part of his gift with those logic puzzles. And he says sometimes write a left handed, handed, handed as he's ambidextrous. Um, and I wanted something that if he's dragging his hand over the page, it's not going to smear. So I thought the quick dry ones would really come in handy for that. All right. Now I did pick up something that I mentioned to go outside and it's actually these owls. So I have a couple different balconies outside my little townhouse and the one up by my bedroom, the birds like to sit on in the very, very early morning. We're talking like three, 4 a.m. and they will just chirp incessantly. So my mom suggested if I put an owl out there that might help to um, scare them off or discourage them at least for sitting right up on my balcony edge. Uh, they were four dollars a piece and they're actually called owl scarecrows so i'm hoping that they do work uh, they have a bit of weight to them but i'm hoping that those little stickers will hold up well and then i do have like a metal railing that i'm going to sit it on so we'll see if that works otherwise i might have to get something a little bit more heavy duty but i didn't want anything that was going to damage the balcony either so i did get this brown owl for there and then i also got this gray owl for the one um, out the back. Um, I have like more like a wood style balcony out the back and they like to sit on the edge and then poop on there and then it doesn't make it very inviting to go out there and my kids have their little water table and we like to sit so I'm trying to discourage them from landing and pooping on the railing and the deck up there so I thought that this would work for that as well at least I'm hoping it will. And then I guess the one last household type item that I found is this gigantic pillow. So, so crazy the stuff that Dollarama is bringing in lately. So this is just a basic pillow. It's nice and soft. Um, it says a dream on it and it's that gorgeous royal purple look to it. My daughter, as I've mentioned multiple times, is obsessed with the color purple. So I thought that she would absolutely love this. Um, I don't know if it has a specific brand or not. The tag says uh, Lerman Decor Ink and it's 45 uh, by 45 centimeters. So it is a really good size. I thought this would be nice for her just to put out on her bed and kind of relax in the evening when she's reading her books and stuff like that. 
I was really happy to come across this. They also had one which would have been perfect for Father's Day or Grandparents Day um, that said uh, something like, you know, the kid, there's someone who stole my heart and they call me grandpa or something along the lines of that. Really, really sweet. It's just my kiddos don't call my dad grandpa. They call him papa, so it just wouldn't work for him. But definitely do keep an eye out because I know a lot of different locations are getting different versions of this style, like the size of pillow in. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Oh, and then I also picked up this beautiful little succulent. I think it's beautiful. I think it's super cute. Um, as I've mentioned before in previous hauls, I think, as anyways, I have trouble keeping real things alive as far as plants go. Um, I either overwater or underwater, and I just like the idea of a fake plant or a fake flower a lot more. So this one is really cute. It's a nice size, and I absolutely love the little pot that it's in. It's really soft. Uh, it was $4, but I thought it was still worth it because anything decorative like this that you would get elsewhere would be a lot more than that. And I love how it has that like soft pink and goes to the lighter and then darker green. I really like this style of succulent. They had quite a few different ones to choose from if you wanted to grab a couple of these and do like a whole shelf display. So I was really happy to come across these. I find Dollar Room is always putting out new versions of the succulents as well. So that's really fun to see. And then I did get one... I guess outdoor camping type item and it is the 7 LED headlamp uh, so I actually grabbed this for night fishing I've mentioned previously as well that I started taking up fishing and I was instructed that a headlamp would come in handy so this was only three dollars so I thought it would work well um, I'm not sure if it actually includes the batteries or not uh, it says it takes three triple A's so I might have to pick those up at Dollar Tree at some point but I thought that was still a really good value for a headlamp. Now, the last items that I have for this haul are actually all toys. As I've mentioned previously, I have four kiddos and I'm constantly picking things up as I find them. Um, I also have two nephews and I also pick up gifts um, for, my, like, for my mom to gift to my own kids and to gift to my nephews. Uh, so I'm just going to show you those things now. So the first thing that I came across is this little pop-out pet and it's three pets in one. It says that in one quick flip, the turtle turns into a dolphin and a walrus, which I thought was so much fun. Um, my one nephew is the same age as my daughter, so they're turning four. He actually just turned four a little while ago. And I thought this would be cute for him to put away for Christmas. Uh, it is an as seen on TV product by J and Play is the company. Uh, which is out of New York. So that's kind of cool. Um, so this one is the turtle. There are also a whole bunch of different ones you can get. There are like a dog theme, a fantasy, a cat, um, a tropical theme. I'll show you there. You can see them. So I am hoping to find some of the other ones at the other locations. Like there's one that changes from a unicorn to a phoenix to a dragon, which I think is so cool myself. And I think my um, daughters would absolutely love that one. So I'm hoping to find these elsewhere. But for now, this is the only one that I came across. He was $4, but I still thought that was really cute because a lot of the time Dollarama will charge $4 for just their basic stuffies. And this one actually changes into two other little characters. So that's a lot of fun. Then I also picked up a few of these little purse pals. I think they are so stinking cute. So my daughters absolutely love carrying a purse around, but they really have nothing to put in it. Maybe like a chapstick or, you know, a little toy or something like that, but they don't really have a use for it. So I thought that these were really cute that they actually came with a little stuffed animal inside. So these are by Snugs, which is Dollarama's like stuffy brand. And it says a purse with plush and they were each $3, but I thought they were so stinking cute. So this one you've got the rainbow fuzzy side and then it's a little unicorn in there. Like how stinking cute is that? What little girl wouldn't love this? Then I got this blue reversible sequin one, which of course is all the rage, and that has a little white kitty in it. Then I grabbed this pink one that has a bow and it's got this little tabby kitty in it. And then the last one, of course, is purple. It's the reversible sequins as well. And this one is fun because it goes from a, blue, um, a purple to like a greenish blue, 
which I thought was really, really nice and different. And then you get like a little schnauzer in there. So for $3 to get a little purse and a little stuffy, such a fantastic little gift for somebody. All right, now these have been at every location that I've been to, but every location has a different animals and they are the stick bots. Now I was looking into them and what you're able to do is like position the pets, make a little like pose in that for them. And then if you use it with an app on your iPhone or on your Android, you can set up like little scenes and that for them. So I thought my boys would absolutely love this. So I did grab a couple different animals. I might get a couple more before their birthdays and Christmas roll around. They were only $3.50 and I know that they retail for a lot more other places. So I did get this green little horse. I got a blue monkey. I got a blue cow. And then I got a red monkey as well. Um, there are lots of different animals to choose from and then it does seem that each of the animals comes in multiple colors as well. Um, so I thought that was a lot of fun. So I'm hoping that they will get a kick out of that. And then I did pick up a bunch of the boxy girls. So in my, I think it was my most recent Dollarama haul, one of the four parts that I posted, I hauled the boxy girls, but the pets. So now Dollarama has actually put out the girls themselves, which I think is awesome because my little ones didn't have either the pets or the girls. So it's nice that I'm able to give both to them now. So I think I got all of the ones that are available. I believe there are six different pets to choose from and six different girls. So the first one that I picked up here is called Coco. And for those of you who don't know what these are, you get the little figurine and then you get a whole bunch of different accessories in each of those little boxes that are in there. So a lot of fun and well worth the 350. Um, I went to, where was it? I think it was uh, Walmart and they were 9.99. So such a price difference between 350 and 99. What a great place to pick them up, especially for like Operation Christmas Child, little stocking stuffers, um, for your children to give to like neighborhood kids, all sorts of possibilities. It is always fantastic idea to check out Dollarama's toy section and pick up things as you come across them. Things like this come in, they go out and then they don't come back again. Then I also grabbed, this is B, Trinity. Trinity even has like little curly Q bangs hanging down on the side there. Uh, Tasha. Lena. And the last one I grabbed, which I'm so excited for, is actually Ellie. So for those of you who don't know, my eldest daughter's name is Eleanor and we call her Ellie for short. So I thought this was so perfect for her. She's going to be so excited to have a doll with the same name as herself. And then the last items that I picked up are these mega blocks. So really excited to come across these. These are the mega blocks blaze and the monster machines. Now Dollarama has had um, Mega Block Blaze items before, but they were smaller. You got less pieces and they were mostly just the vehicles. I actually hauled them a while back um, for my younger nephew, but I thought that these would work for really any of my kiddos or even to use in a classroom setting because they teach different things. So this one actually teaches you about force. So you kind of launch the car over and it rolls over onto itself. It's really neat. They show you what each of them does on the back. So I'm not sure where I'm going to use these, if I'm going to save them for classroom use or if I'm going to give them to my kids or my nephews, I'm not sure. But things like this are absolutely amazing finds to come across. It was only $4. And this one is Smash Stunt Zeg and you get 12 pieces in there. Then this one is Truck Ball Blaze and it teaches you about trajectory. So you get to launch the ball through that little diamond hoop. And then this one is Stripes Jungle Stunt and it teaches you about pendulums. So I thought that was really, really fun. What a great way to teach your kid about different concepts. 
So yeah, that is it for my haul, you guys. As you've clearly noticed, if you've made it to the end, I am back to doing my longer videos. Uh, they got a lot more positive feedback and also a lot more viewers. So I'm thinking that's more so what you guys have want. I know I have asked previously in the past and you have mentioned that you enjoy my longer videos and with everything getting a little bit um, more back to normal with more people going back to work. I thought I would go back to what I was previously doing on my channel and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching and again thank you guys so much for helping me reach that 500 subscriber point. I am so grateful for each and every one of you and I hope you are having an absolutely amazing week and enjoying all this gorgeous weather we've been having. All right stay safe everyone.